Hello, everybody. It's Corey from The Abundant Artist. Hello. This is Sarah over here. Hi. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, if you can hear us, type hello or hello or hi or something. Just so that we know, just so that we know you're there. Hello, excellent. All right, hi Jessica, Gwen, Kelly, Lydia, all the cool people are here. Leah, Lindy, excellent. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, Carolyn, Cassandra. Man, just all the cool people are here. If you're not here right now, I just I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> well, you might be in Europe. <laughs> you might be in Europe. Okay. And like going to bed. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Um, I have, I'm all like excited and energetic today because I just got back from three days in, uh, the desert in Oregon watching the Perseid meteor shower. Uh, it was awesome. And I'm going to say, uh, if you want to see, uh, the, me the photograph I took of the Milky Way, uh, then I just posted a link there in the chat. Uh, if you want to take a look at the photo that I just posted on Facebook. So I'm very proud of it. There's probably like some photographer, somebody who's like a amazing 20 years, <laughs> like a photographer with 20 years experience is going to look at my photo and be like, you did these three things wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, you so, did these things wrong. <laughs> yes. Um, Cause that always happens whenever I should like, I have such like ev everybody who follows me online has such high standards for the art that they make. And they expect me to like always have, like the most, be surrounded by the most incredible things. And I'm always like, oh, whenever I share, whenever I share something. So uh, cool. I'm glad people like it. Um, the, so today uh, we're talking about how to facilitate masterminds for artists with Sarah. Um, Sarah, uh, Sarah, we'll, we'll have her talk a little bit more about her background in, in a few minutes. But Sarah runs um, the accountability mastermind group for uh, the abundant artist. So uh, if you don't, if you're like brand new and you're like, who the heck are these people? I've never heard of the abundant artist. Um, I, my name's Corey Huff and I, uh, run a company called the abundant artist. And I wrote this book called how to sell your art online. And, uh, for the last 10 years, I've been helping artists figure out how to make money from their work and how to support themselves, uh, selling their art. So that the, today's, uh, session, what we're doing right now is all about mastermind groups. So what the heck is a mastermind group? Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you don't know what a mastermind group is, let me break it down for you. Here's another book. Uh, it's called Think and Grow Rich. Um, if you ever watch me give talks, I drop books like all the time. So I've, I've given you two books to read so far. Uh, we'll see if, how many more I've got on my desk over here. Um, <laughs> so uh, there it is, the 12 week year. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Put that down. Um, <laughs> so Think and Grow Rich is the first place that I came across the idea of a mastermind group. And Napoleon Hill um, in his book talks about how uh, some of the most successful entrepreneurs of his time, this was back in like the 20s, I believe, um, the most successful people in his time, which included the Rockefellers, uh, the Carnegies, Thomas Edison, and a handful of others, used to get together uh, once or twice a year and just talk about whatever challenges they were having um, and help each other figure out how to overcome those challenges. And then he kind of breaks down how other entrepreneurs do that same thing. And there's a lot more in the book, but uh, one chapter specifically is on mastermind groups. And so that has sort of evolved and changed and expanded over the years since the book came out. But the basic idea is that mastermind groups, accountability groups, whatever you want to call them, are all about getting people together to hold each other accountable for doing what they say they're gonna do or doing what they want or doing what they say they want to do and also helping each other uh, solve problems and help each other get to whatever their goal is. Now, the reason that these groups are so helpful and so and what I, and I find them so important is uh, in with, you know, for the last 10 years, I've been helping artists learn how to run a business and I can give you all the information that you need on how to run a business. We've done that. We've got dozens of case studies and examples of artists who have implemented our stuff and, and are making a living from their work, blah, blah, blah. But the information by itself doesn't do anything if you don't act on it, if you don't implement what you learn. And what I have discovered over the years is that in order to implement what you learn, it's really, really helpful to have a community of people around you who are doing the same thing, uh, who maybe are working on similar goals and want to help and support each other. Right. 
And that can take lots of different forms. If you're lucky enough to have like a mom and dad who are super successful and know what to tell and, and can tell you what to do and support you or a brother and sister or, you know, a spouse or a best friend, that's wonderful. But the reality is most people don't have that, that person or people in their lives. So what I did for myself is I went and found a pure mastermind group and, uh, and other people will go out and find paid mastermind groups. So it just, it depends on what you need and we'll break down sort of the differences between peer and paid mastermind groups. Um, but that's, that's what we're going for. That's what we're trying to help you understand today. So as I'm going through all of this, if you have questions, please feel free to type those questions. This is the universal sign for type now. Uh, <laughs> please feel free to type your questions in the chat. You can also add them under the ask a question section. Um, the ask a question section is all about, um, you know, I can, I can answer your questions. I can, if, if it's a complicated question, we can bring you on screen and talk about it a little bit, but, um, definitely today's, uh, chat is supposed to be interactive. You're supposed to ask questions. So please feel free to do so. Um, to, to do, to do. So let's talk a little bit about my own experience with mastermind groups. Uh, I first started, uh, I started my first mastermind group for, I want to say 2005, and basically what I did is I, I, I learned about the concept and I was like, gosh, I'd really love to do something like this. And I started looking around and, and talking to people like, hey, have you ever done anything like this before? And a good friend of mine who was a very experienced entrepreneur said, hey, why don't I just throw a mastermind group together and you can be a part of it? And I was like, whoa, thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and so I was, really, I was really lucky because he and several other friends that were in the group were all a lot more experienced than I was at the time. Um, and so I got really lucky to be in among a group of people who were definitely ahead of me. Um, in, and then that only lasted for about six months. Um, and then after that, I went and found my own peer mastermind and I like, I was really serious about it. And I went through all of my, like all my professional contacts. I, I downloaded my LinkedIn list and I looked through all my, everybody I knew on Facebook and I said, who would I want to like share my secrets with and who do I want? to be around a lot? Who do I want to spend time with? And who do I think is not so far ahead of me that mm -hmm. they, it wouldn't be worthwhile for them to spend time on that with me. And then I kind of made a list and then I reached out to a bunch of those people and asked them if they wanted to be in a group with me. Um, so that's, that was how I first uh, got into a mastermind group or mastermind groups. And since then I've had a couple different variations of that right now I'm in two mastermind groups. Um, and typically I have seen like my, my, uh, my peers, other mastering peers, excuse me, other entrepreneur peers, uh, I have seen them pay anywhere from five to $25,000 per year to be in these mastermind groups with other entrepreneurs who are in similar places to them. Uh, so Sarah, have you, uh, yeah, have, what, what is your own experience with running these kind of groups or, uh, or being in, involved in these kind of groups? Yeah, I learned about mastermind groups in this book <laughs> and in the coaching call you had in December. Um, mm -hmm. I've done facilitating facilitation in um, performance management coaching for a long time and mm -hmm. have a bunch of different certifications. Um, but the mastermind group idea really interested me because I'd gone through and done the 12 week plan. I knew myself well enough to know I'm going to need somebody I got to talk to who's not my husband. <laughs> or my dog, um, uh -huh. to help help hold me accountable to meeting these things. And so in the, just after, not long after our call, I reached out on the Abundant Artist um, discussion group and put out a call to see who else was interested, who else had read the 12 week year, and we formed a group. Uh, so Nicola, Jessica, and I have been working together in a mastermind group since the beginning of the year, and it's been phenomenal. Um, we've all had big deadlines. I've had big deadlines this past six months or seven months mm -hmm. now and wouldn't have met them were it not for that kind of weekly check-in. We check in by email and then we have once a month we have a phone call. Right. Um, but it's it's really extraordinary. And I second what you say about um, some of the other mastermind groups. I just was in an um, information session for one. I think it was 20 15 to $10,000 a year to be part of this group. And, you know, you would, you would get good benefits out of it. It's a high power group, but not everybody has that in their budget right away. Sure. Yeah. Um, and, and Sarah, I, we forgot to do this a little bit earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we should have you for those who don't know you, um, who are not necessarily like super active in the abundant artist yep. association. 
tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, sure. Tell us about your art background, your business background, your facilitation background. Great. Um, so my name is Sarah Guthrie. I'm an artist. I've been um, painting primarily, although I draw and do performance as well, but painting has been my main medium. And I've been doing that for over 20, well, since I was a little kid, but very actively with the goal of becoming a full-time artist um, for the last 20 years. Um, that path has been very varied um, and has become more successful and focused, um, honestly, since I came across Corey Huff's book and joined the Abundant Artists Association. That's made a big difference. Um, my career otherwise has been a lot in human resources and communication. So I worked, um, I became a certified um, creativity facilitator or yeah, creativity facilitator. There's a group in Buffalo who does those certifications been trained by um, Development Dimensions International to do customer service training and a couple of other groups have been certified as a facilitator. And I love it. I love coaching people. I love facilitating breakthroughs. It is one of my life's passions and even better to bring it to the artist community. I'm so excited about, about doing that. Totally. Um, and so, and otherwise in life, I have a master's degree, I have two master's degrees, one in literature and one in, in visual arts. So um, so that's a little bit about me. Cool. Thank you so much. Um, so basically if you are looking to start a mastermind group, uh, with other artists and, and you want to either find a peer group or join a group that, uh, that you pay for, for somebody that somebody leads, um, I want to talk a little bit about how they're, how they're typically run. Um, and then Sarah, I want to have you break mm -hmm. down how you run, uh, our group for the abundant artist. Yep. Um, and I've seen, and, and again, sharing my own experience with how these groups are run. Uh, there's lots of variations and ways you can do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, one of the important things about finding these groups that at the core of it, it's really about finding a group of people that you can get along with and share with, uh, that you feel comfortable with, uh, and that also have some knowledge and, and depth to them, to them where they can help you. Right. Um, so, Typically speaking, I, I mentioned I talked a few minutes ago. Uh, I was really meticulous about how I found my first peer mastermind groups. Right, I was like I, I dug through all of my professional contacts, and out of the you know hundred, no, it's more than that. Out of like three thousand connections that I have across LinkedIn and Facebook, I think I narrowed the the initial list down to like forty people or something like that, maybe less. Um, and it was like, you know, people who are entrepreneurs, people who uh, are creative, people who have business experience, but who are not too advanced for me. Um, that that kind of narrows it down quite a bit. Uh, and then I said, who is the first person, like the anchor person? Who's the one that I want to get that's like, this person I know, I think they're awesome. And I think the two of us together could bring together a, an awesome group, right? Because you don't, it's really helpful if it's not, if you're not pulling just from, your own immediate network, but instead pulling mm -hmm. from two people's networks or three people's networks. Um, so I narrowed it down to one person in particular that I knew who, um, like I am uh, amongst, at least amongst my friends, I am the one that who is like a quick start. Like I have an idea, I will immediately go implement it. Uh, I, I jump on things really fast. I talk loud, I talk fast uh, and I'm kind of excitable. And so I was like, well, who is like, who do I know who's an entrepreneur who's like thoughtful and methodical and slow to implement um, and but but still really like successful and knows what they're doing just so I can get like a different perspective. Right. And so I found that person in my in my list and I reached out to her and I said, hey, this is what I want to do. Uh, you know, would you be interested in uh, joining me? And uh, one of the things I want, I want to share with you sort of a pitch like the basic um, outline of, of what I proposed to her. And I'll find it while Sarah's talking, but I'm gonna share that yeah. here in a bit. Um, so she was, she was on board, she, we, we got on the phone and we talked. Um, I think that's really important. Like you can't, it, it's really difficult to uh, put together a mastermind group via email, the, especially if it's people you don't know, cause you need to talk to them. You need to get to know who they are, make sure that it's a good personality and culture fit. So we talked and uh, she was on board. So then uh, she added to my list, she added a bunch of her own people. And then we just sort of 
in, invited like three or four people each initially. And we, uh, from those, from that group of people, we narrowed it down to, I think we started with six people total in the mastermind group. And, uh, and that worked out really well. Um, that went on, that group went on for almost three years, um, which is really long lived for most mastermind groups. Most of them don't last more than six months to a year. Um, and that group, we are, we're all still good friends, everybody from that group. And uh, fun enough, like everybody from that group's gone on to do like amazing things. So uh, it's been really fun to, to see how that has grown because we all know like where we all started um, and how tiny our businesses were non-existent, all of our businesses were uh, when we started. And now it's you know, several years later. So uh, that, is, that is the level of thought and deliberateness that you want to see put into uh, the mastermind groups that you put together, right? Uh, and, and if you are paying for a mastermind group, you should see the same level of thoughtfulness and deliberateness um, in those groups as well. And that's why you'll see like high-end mastermind groups. That's why they cost twenty dollars to $25,000 mm -hmm. because the people who run them typically have access to a network of very high-level people um, and they are being really careful and vetting really carefully. Um, so yeah, you'll see, you'll see, you wanna see that level of intention no matter what level it's at. Um, the, and one of the, paid, one of the other primary differences between uh, the paid mastermind groups and a peer mastermind group is uh, the coach, right? In a paid mastermind group, you'll typically have a coach or a facilitator who runs the group. And that's why Sarah's here. Um, because I asked uh, earlier this year, I started experimenting with putting together some mastermind groups for the abundant artists. And I discovered that facilitation and leading these kind of groups is not, it's not my zone of genius. Uh, so I wanted to find somebody who is pretty good at that and see if I can put them in that role. And that's where, that's where Sarah comes in. So uh, we put together a, a mastermind group uh, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I think it was in May. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Mid -May. Mid -May. Mid -May. And uh, Sarah ran it for a couple of months and we got nothing but really great feedback uh, oh, from yay. everybody involved. So uh, Sarah, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you run uh, accountability groups when they are, when you're there as a coach rather than a peer? Yeah. Um, so we had everyone in the group. We recommended that they read the 12 week year. And we've been following the structure in there. And in that book, they talks about the um, weekly accountability meetings and what, what their um, agenda should be and that sort of thing. So we kind of merged that as well as um, a list of questions that we had from Corey. And so each week when we meet, we meet by, we've been meeting by Skype, but I think we're going to do a different platform so we can record the call um, in future. Um, so each week when we meet, we meet for 60 minutes. Um, and, you know, we found a time that worked for everybody because we were working with artists from uh, the West Coast of the United States to Finland. So we had a large range of time zones to cover. So um, we meet every Monday morning for an hour. Um, and then we also have an offline chat opportunity if people have questions or want to reach out or um, connect with each other um, during the week, they can do that. And then we also um, sometimes connect over email as well. In that one hour session, there are five members of this group. So in that one hour session, everyone gets roughly 10 minutes. They get at least 10 minutes is what I would say. Um, there have been sometimes parts of the conversation have gone a little bit longer because there's a lot of energy in the group about it. And that process for me is both a trained and intuitive one, like feel, getting a sense of where the group's going, where the energy is and giving, giving space for that. Um, and also if things are getting a little sidetracked where a coach and a facilitator can make a big difference is bringing it back, bringing it back to those kind of core questions. And that's some, one of the things I think that's the biggest advantage um, of having a paid facilitator coach is having someone that kind of keep the group focused and on, on track. Um, so we have a set of check-in questions that we go through. We typically go through these with each person so they sort of know what's coming um, one of the expectations of the group, and I have to say, everyone's been incredibly consistent um, this past summer, which was wonderful, is being on time, being prepared, um, and you know, being ready to engage with the group. And and 
working with the group with um, honesty and integrity and vulnerability. Honestly, we get into, you know, we can get into some really tough areas of life to talk about. You might be talking about family commitments that are stressors. You might talk about financial stressors or just pressure of getting a show ready, that kind of thing. So we look at back over what people have done over the past week. We talk about why did it happen? And is there anything you would do differently? What would you do differently? And then each person has developed three strategic priorities and that comes from the 12 week model. Um, and um, so we review those, like how are you working towards those priorities? Uh, what's standing in the way of, of reaching those for the coming week and what you plan in the 12 week, you're very, clearly breaks out a model for, for how to do that. And then are you tracking ahead or behind on achieving your target goals? Um, so part of my expertise that I bring to it is I have a lot of training in how to train people how to write their own goals. Um, one of the great benefits of having worked in human resources for so long and how to help people think strategically and how to, and again, how to facilitate people to find the answers for themselves. Um, I think that's one of the things I love most about facilitation and coaching is I'm not coming in with the answers. I sometimes have referrals, like we, there was an article in The Abundant Artist, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you might want to look at that. Um, but I'm coming with, assume, with the assumption that the answer lies within the group. It's um, the, it's the uh, wisdom of teams, right? So the idea is that the answer is somewhere in the group, and it's my job to kind of encourage and pull things apart a little bit and ask some focus questions so that we can get to, to what that wisdom is. And we've had some really amazing outcomes. We've had people in the group who've had some, some big, big challenges they set for themselves and they are meeting those challenges. And, um, you know, it's, for me, it's, it's thrilling. Every, I get up really early on Monday mornings for this call and, um, and I just love it. And my, I think the mailman's just coming, so my dog might start barking. So <laughs> just to let you know, That's if awesome. you have to mute me, Corey, please do. I will. Um, thank you so much, Sarah. I, I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope that this kind of gives you an idea of the level of structure and help that goes in that goes into a well-run group, right? Um, and like full disclosure, uh, one of the groups that I started earlier this year didn't work out, right? We, uh, we put together a group and uh, it wasn't as well structured as it needed to be. And um, people were, uh, you know, they weren't thrilled. And so I decided that as a, as a company, as the abundant artists, we needed to go back to the drawing board mm -hmm. and, 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 re and start over. Um, so we've learned a lot this year. Like we had one successful group, we had one unsuccessful group. And uh, I think we've learned a lot from that as well as my own experience and your facilitation. So yeah, uh, I, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited too. I, I absolutely love this work. It's yeah. So, so we are, uh, we are launching the next version of our mastermind mm -hmm. groups. Um, and, and for those of you who are here looking for information on how to run a peer mastermind, uh, in the comments, in the chat, I just left two links. One is a reference outline for pitching peers on mastermind groups. And that is a link to a peer mastermind pitch that I put together for myself uh, a while ago for, uh, it's actually for uh, running a, a mastermind group for self-published science fiction and fantasy authors. Nice. Uh, so as, as one of the like side, one of my own side projects, uh, I'm about to release my first novel uh, later on in, in August. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so this is the approach that I take when I am undertaking some new huge thing and usually put a small mastermind group together. And so that uh, you can adapt that language in that for artists or whatever it is that you might want to put a mastermind group together. Um, and then I also put a link to, it says invite for our paid mastermind group. So the abundant artist has a paid mastermind accountability group um, that's going to be run by Sarah. Um, and uh, you can read the invite uh, there um, if you want to uh, read a little bit about what we're doing and, and how we are helping artists with mastermind groups. Um, but, you know, and, and as we're, while we're all here, I want to talk a little bit about setting proper expectations. Mm -hmm. So one of the other, uh, and I'm going to share a link to this expectations, the mastermind agreements uh, as well. So this is something that, uh, where'd it go? Where, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so mastermind agreements slash expectations. So 
Um, one of the things that makes mastermind groups successful is everybody who goes in needs to be on the same page, uh, not only culturally, but also like what are you expecting to get it out of the group? How many calls are you going to have? Uh, what are you expected to contribute? What are the rules for sharing outside the group? All that kind of stuff. Um, and if it's a paid group, you absolutely should have like a written agreement in place. Um, if it is not a paid group, uh, then you know, it's, up, it's up to you. Uh, I, I think you should still have a written agreement that everybody looks at and says yes to, um, but you want to have rules uh, to govern it by. So I'm going to share uh, the mastermind agreement and expectations, and I'm just going to walk through it real quick to give you an idea of what, what you uh, should have in mind. So um, obviously at the, at the beginning, we say the primary purpose of the mastermind group is to facilitate achieving your business goals, right? And we do that by providing structured feedback loop in the form of coaching calls, offline support via email and text, and group accountability. Um, and then what you get, they get uh, our goal is to help you with sales. Um, I, I put in bold in here that typically working with coaches and groups like this take three to six months to see significant impacts on your art business. Now that can change a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, my goal is for to have an immediate impact. But that completely depends on where you're at with your business, how much capacity you have for implementing or changing new ideas, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I, I try to give and people- And what you're a, trying to accomplish. Yeah, and what you know? you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. If you're trying to go from, I've never sold anything to selling, <laughs> to, to selling a couple of pieces, that's a pretty easy step. And you can probably yeah. get there in, in, a month or, in a month or less, or maybe two months. Um, but if you're trying to go from, I sell a piece here and there, and I have a full-time mm -hmm. day job, and I've got- kids and uh and a mortgage and all that kind of stuff and you're like i want to quit my day job and uh and and uh and just become a full-time artist like it's going to take a much longer time to hit that goal right so it, it all depends on what goals you're going into the group with um so then structured accountability coach with the call or you know, structured accountability calls with a coach um and all those questions from the 12 week year that Sarah talked about. Um, and then in between session support. Uh, so with the abundant artist, with our uh, particular group, um, the support is broken up into two areas. There's the business support, the what you're there for the mastermind for, um, which is Sarah's, uh, what Sarah's doing. And then I'll be in the calls. I'll be joining the calls from time to time. I'll be on the group chat in between, um, basically answering people's business questions, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then there's also the logistical support, like handling payments and handling like access to whatever materials. Um, and that is the Abundant Artists team. So we have a group of people that are uh, like Steve and Sharia on our team are handling all of that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, this, this is creating a, a framework to support you and help you as you're growing your, your business. Um, we have explicitly bolded bullet points on what's expected of the people in our, in our groups. Um, show up for the calls on time, be coachable, be able to take feedback, um, contribute back to the team and be honest and doing, be honest about doing your work, right? Like sometimes uh, I've been in, I've had experiences before in mastermind groups where somebody shows up and they're like, oh yeah, I tried it, but it didn't work. And then people start asking questions and it turns out they didn't actually do anything. Uh -huh. um, and I, those people get kicked out of groups uh, pretty quick. So uh, obviously we want people to be kind and discreet and respectful. Um, you know, we, and we're also explicit about what the group does not include, um, which is individual coaching. You know, it's not a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Um, it's not therapy, although mastermind groups can sometimes it be therapeutic. It touches on those areas. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, recommended texts. So if, if somebody in the mastermind group is like, you should read this book, obviously you're on your own to make those purchases. And then we're really, we're, we're really clear, we try to be really clear on the schedule, like the administrative stuff, like when you should be paying, how often you're going to pay, what it's going to cost, um, what you should do if you need help, and then what to expect what, when, once you, join, you jump in, right? Um, so I'm going to, uh, I just turned on, there's a little green button now at the bottom of the screen. If you're on the mobile app or on the desktop, you should see a little green button that says apply for TAA Mastermind. If you want to be in the Mastermind group, uh, you should go ahead and click on that button and uh, you can fill out an application. Uh, we've had, we're only taking five people per group and we're maxing out at three groups um, for the rest of this year. 
Uh, that might change depending on Sarah's capacity mm -hmm. and what we do next year. But uh, if you do want to join our mastermind group, we would love to have you. Uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you can read through all those documents and, and all that good stuff. Um, if you have questions, feel free to post those questions. I see there's a couple already. Um, and I am happy to answer any of those questions. Okay. Um, Lindy says, oh, if we do not- I just add one thing, Corey? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. at the start, um, just before the group start, we're gonna do um, kind of a one-on-one -on -one session with me, um, with each person to talk about what your um, top three priorities are. And that's where I'll give you some, that's the one place there will be individual coaching about what your goals are. Are they specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and tied to a timetable? The SMART goals is mm -hmm. what they're known as. Um, this is a particular area of strength for me is helping people get clarity around that. So even before you start the mastermind, you'll get a benefit of clarity for your work. Excellent. 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 Um, so Lindy uh, says, if we do not feel ready, will this be an ongoing or will it start mm -hmm. again? Um, so Lindy, great question. Uh, the, the answer to that question is we don't know yet. Uh, we don't know uh, how quickly the group will fill up. Uh, like I said, we've got a max of 15 slots. Uh, we've already had, uh, I think 20, right around 20 applications. Um, we, won't we won't be taking everybody. We're trying to fit mm -hmm. groups together based on stage of business. So if you're just getting started, we won't have a group where there are people who are just getting started with people who are already in a six figure business. Um, and so we're trying to group people together by business stage as well as fit. Um, we're going to try not to have people in Australia in the same group as people in the United States, uh, just because except the, for me, <laughs> like, except for, yeah, the logistics are a little bit difficult. Um, so, uh, all of that said, I, I hope that answers your question, Libby. We will we will know uh, more about the availability for for waitlist spots or whatever uh, right. in a, in a few weeks once we we have everybody on board for the starting in September groups. Um, Lydia Koenig Schur, hope I said that name right. Uh, can you give us a sense of the pricing? Yeah. So uh, these particular mastermind groups are not for beginners. Um, they are designed for artists who already have a business. Maybe you're not necessarily making a living from the work yet, but you're generating significant revenue. Um, and so it's $200 a month. Uh, it's month to month. You can quit whenever you want. We ask you to stay for at least three months because we think that's how long it takes to know whether or not it's having an impact on your business. Um, but we made it month to month because it is a beta program. We do know that people... Uh, we want people to have a good experience and feel like, yeah, they're super excited um, while we get everything super dialed in. Mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 do the, yeah, $200 a month. That's the, that's the answer there. Um, if that is too expensive, totally understand. There's no alternate payment plans or anything like that. It's just that's the price. Uh, if you can't afford that, I would really suggest you dig into the pure mastermind stuff that we talked about mm -hmm. and find a group that you can facilitate as a peer. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Um, if anybody else has any questions, I'm happy to answer those. Uh, I have, I spent a bunch of time last week talking with people about uh, pe people who had applied for the group. Um, I anticipate that we will probably ha at least have our first group ready by the end of this week or the beginning of Monday, just based on how much time it takes me. Um, to get confirmations from those initial group of people. Um, once we have that first group of five put together, we'll try to assemble a second group of five. Um, and then we'll go from there and see. Uh, and see. Wendy, uh, if you've already spoken with me, should, should I still fill, fill out the application? No, if you've already done an application, there's no need to fill it out again. Uh, if, we've already, if you've already done the application, we've already had a conversation, uh, you, don't, you, you don't need to do that again. Okay, um, Sarah, is there anything uh, about the mastermind groups that uh, we haven't really covered or that you feel like we need to mention? Um, you know, this, this ends up becoming a group of people who know you and understand you in a way that probably very few, if any, other people in your life know and understand you. Mm -hmm. There are particular concerns you have as an artist entrepreneur, and particularly for artists who are entrepreneurs, 
our concerns are different from other entrepreneurs. Um, you know, my dad was an entrepreneur. He was a consulting engineer. I was talking with him the other day about how he started up his business. And he said, well, you know, I took a year or two to figure out, did I really want to do this? Decided, yes, I want to be my own boss. And he said, you know, so I left my job and I sent out a bunch of letters. And you know, a month later, I started getting calls. <laughs> you know? Like, okay, I don't think getting painting commissions works the same way. <laughs> to some degree, it does. Um, but, and, you know, within six months, he was making so much money, he had to be incorporated, right? So what entrepreneurs in other industries are doing is quite different from what we're doing. So I've been in, in the shoes of the entre artist entrepreneur. I've been at this for a really long time and studied with Corey for the last 18 months. Um, and I've, I've come to appreciate how, how different our challenges are from other entrepreneurs. And so what, what, ends up being created in this group is it becomes this very um, connected group of people that you can, you can really count on. Um, that, that's why for me, if you're coming into this in, integrity and doing what you say you're going to do is probably one of the most critical aspects um, in addition to being coachable and, and being, um, and, and being kind of an active participant for what's going on for other people. Yeah. Um, it just will make all the difference to how the group flows and how successful it is. So, um, so yeah, those are some of my thoughts. Yeah. Um, talking about people understanding you in a way that nobody else does, like the current mastermind group that I'm in, uh, <laughs> it started out uh, as like a one-off lark weekend put together by a friend of a friend. And we all got along so well during that weekend, we decided let's just keep it going. So we kept talking and we kept, and you know, we re really became a tight knit group of people. And uh, now twice a year we go, uh, we do a, an in-person retreat where we oh, get together. Wow. Yeah. It's wonderful. Um, we've done, That's amazing. we've done Orlando. Uh, we've done Whistler. We've done uh, uh, Austin, Texas. We, just, we get together and we spend two or three days just in a house, mm -hmm. like, together <laughs> <in a big. laughs> and uh and we just talk about all of our business challenges and all of our life challenges and how to structure our lives around this you know these cool things that we're all doing um and i just shared a link in the chat to a picture of me being now that i see it ridiculous uh in front of <laughs> with a group of friends with, with that group of friends that's us in in whistler um no that's a, us in uh, florida anyway no, oh, I it, do says, have one it says for one other thought. actually Whistler. Anyway. <laughs> uh, one other thought to share. One of the other aspect that's beneficial about mastermind groups is when you're, particularly if you're an artist who's also working a day job, you have a lot of stressors on you. And that energy can come out in weird sideways ways. Knowing that there's this grounded space each week where you can be heard and share what's going on for you, it helps in all those other relationships, right? So it, it helps in... I'm going to say it helps with marriage relationships, partner relationships. It helps with um, wor other work relationships because the pressure is just off. It's a place where you can kind of go and get connected um, with other people who really understand what you're dealing with. Yeah. Um, Carolyn Ellis says, uh, would you ever consider having a group for those not yet at the significant income level? Um, Carolyn, I would say uh, we don't have a specific mastermind group like this. Um, for people at the very beginning, because it's not um, it's not financially viable to ask somebody to pay two hundred dollars a month when they're not generating any uh, any income from their art yet, and charging anything less than that means that we can't pay for an awesome facilitator like Sarah to run that group. So that's why we don't have this kind of group for somebody who's at the very beginning. But I will say that uh, you should absolutely join, uh, I think you're already in there, Carolyn, uh, the Abundant Artist Association. Mm -hmm. um, so for those of you who are not in the association, uh, it's just theabundantartist.com slash association. And that gives you access to all of our course materials as well as uh, our regular, we have two or three coaching calls a month, as well as um, an online like social network, private network, just for people who are in the association. And Sarah, you can talk a little bit about your own experience uh, with that um, and, and how it, how, what it's like for an artist who's at the very beginning to have a group like that, if you want. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. I mean, the, 
being a part of the art association has fundamentally transformed both my art practice as well as um, my business. I was um, very, was painting regularly. I'd been painting, I'd had a daily practice of painting um, for about a year before coming into the group. Before then, very passionate about my painting. I earned an MFA, all that kind of stuff. But I was just, I wasn't disciplined, I guess is the best way. And then finding this community, suddenly I found all these people who were playing in the same sandbox I was playing in and they all made sense to me. So they were struggling with how do I get attention on Instagram? How do I, how do I get sales? I get, just got a huge commission. I don't know what to do for a con Do I need a contract? What, sh what should I do? And so to have that peer community um, available was, was really, it just made all the difference in growing my business. And my, I've been hitting my business goals that I've set, um, I'm on track this year to hit the goal again um, mm -hmm. for the second year since I've joined the group. So it's it's absolutely worth worth the investment of time and and finances to be a part of the Abundant Artist Group. Um, Corey, I'm, one question that's coming up for me, I wondered if you could say significant can mean a lot of different things for people. Like for me, significant is over $100,000. But I'm wondering if you would say a little bit about what you see that meaning. Yeah, and obviously it's going to vary. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody else's definition of significant varies based on where they live. Uh, $100,000 a year. I'm in, in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. $100,000 a year in Seattle is very different than $100,000 a year in by. Iowa. Yeah, um, it's like just paying the bills. Okay. Yep. Um, so, but what we're really looking at is um, we're looking at artists who are in the, call it like thirty to $40,000 a year at the bottom end. Um, up to six figures and higher. Um, those six figure earners are those artists who they've already quit their jobs. They're, mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're well known within whatever niche they're, they're in and they're growing their business. We, we're going to have one group for, if, if we have enough people uh, for each group, then we're going to have one group for those higher earners and then one group for the people who are in that lower range. Um, but we're going to try as hard as we can to make sure that we're fitting the right people together. But I see it as a stepping, right? Like, so yeah. starting with the association is kind of your first step to get to that mm -hmm. thirty to forty thousand dollar level, and yeah. then the mastermind groups take yeah. you to the next level. Um, after ten years of doing this, I feel really good about saying, if you are in the, I, I haven't sold anything yet. I've only sold a little. I don't know how to regularly generate sa sales. I'm, I'm not yet at that thirty thousand dollar range. Um, the association is the best thing that we have mm -hmm. ever offered for that. So it's amazing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I don't know what to say. Okay. So uh, thank you very much, everybody for taking the time to join us. Uh, again, if you have questions, please feel free to let us know. And uh, I would love um, for those of you who are, who came specifically to get like feedback on how to run your own peer masterminds, mm. I would love for you to take what we've created and go create your own group. Um, and then let me know uh, how it goes mm -hmm. because I'd love, I'd love to ha see a whole bunch of like, call them art artist collectives, call them mastermind groups, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. Um, I'd love to see what you start and, and see if we can help you make it better or whatever it is. So uh, let me know. Uh, how it goes, you can uh, head over to theabundantartist.com slash contact and just let me know if you start a group and, and what the results are. So uh, anything else left to say, Sarah? I'm just so excited. I'm excited to see artists just blow the lid off this thing, as they say, <laughs> whether it's in a peer mastermind group or in the pay group, it, it's worth the time. Do cool. the work. All right. Well, thanks so much, everybody. And we will talk to you very soon. Great. Bye, Corey. Thank you.